Now, at some point, you may decide that you want an application to start running whenever you log into your Mac. And today, we're going to go over how to make that happen. What's going on, voiceover warriors and keyboard ninjas? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to use VOCR in an example to show you how to have an application start when your Mac starts so that you can start using it right away and you don't always have to remember to launch it before you use it. VLCR is a perfect example of an app to use for this because it just sits in the system tray and when you press command control shift W, it will just start OCR in a window for you. All right, so let's get into how to do this. We need to go into system preferences and my favorite way to get into system preferences is by using doc because I can just go to system preference icon, VO shift M or right click on it and navigate to the system preference pane that I want and open it up that way. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to press VOD to jump to the dock. Dock. Finder. Open. 1 of 28. And I'm going to just jump to the end of the dock with VO end. Trash. 28 of 28. And then VO left arrow over to system preferences. I find this is a quicker way to get to system preferences. Downloads 27. Separator. Quick time player. Voice over utility. Reaper. 20. Separator. System preferences. One new item. 21 of 28. There we go, system preferences. So I'm going to VO shift M on this. System preferences, menu 38 items. And just hit U for users and groups. Users and groups. There we go, hit return. Finder, desktop, the Aurea Monsters MacBook Pro. F system preferences, users and groups, window, toolbar. All right, so we got users and groups open. So now we want to navigate over to the login tab. Users, groups and password, selected, login items, tab, two of two. Login items. Press login items, selected, tab, two of two. All right, so now if we continue navigating from here, it would be a right arrow. These items will open automatically when you log in. Applications, table, no selection. And this table will show you a list of applications that are already set to open when you log into your Mac. Uh, we're going to navigate past this table for now, but you can interact with this table to see what is already starting up when your Mac starts up. But like I said, we're going to keep navigating for now. To hide an application when you log in, select the checkbox in the hide column next to the application. So that allows you to hide the application. Add login item button. And that add login item button allows you to add a application to your max login. So we're going to view a space on this. List in dialog for window users and groups column view browser. And now this puts up pretty much in a standard Mac OS open file dialog box. It's in our application folder by default. So if I just start using down arrow, I don't have quick nap turned on right now. Airfoil, group, amp, group, amp, Stevie T app, group. You see all of my different apps are listed here. So I'm just going to do V. VOCR app, group, 97 of 102. There we go. Just type VO for VOCR. I'm going to hit return. Add login item button. And now I'm back on this window. So I'm going to VO left arrow back to that table. To hide an application with applications, table, no selection. Now if I interact with in this. In item, VOCR. You see VOCR is now in this table. That means this should now start whenever my Mac starts. Out of applications, table. So that's how to add an application to start up when your Mac does. Now, while I'm in this window, I'm going to go ahead and also show you how to set VoiceOver to start automatically at your system logon. So I'm going to press VO Home to jump to the top of this window. Toolbar. And VO Right Arrow over to users groups and login options list one item selected or monster current user group two of five that particular table the users group and login options i'm going to interact with in this users, groups. and hit vo and jump to the end of this table because we want the last option in this table login options group five of five there you go login options and once again vo fn right arrow is vo end if you're on a laptop all right so let's stop interacting with this users groups and login options list one item selected login options group five of five and now this is another one of those system preferences windows where you will need to unlock it before you can make any changes. There's a whole bunch of options in here and you can't edit any of them until you unlock this window. The unlock button is at the bottom of the window. So I'm going to just once again, use VO end to jump to the bottom of this window. Help button. And now I'm going to use VO left arrow to go back and find the unlock button. Click the lock to make changes button. There it is. Click the lock to make changes. So I'm going to VO space on this. Help in dialog for window users and groups enter password secure edit text system preferences is trying to unlock users and groups preferences enter your password to allow this username password and I'm going to type in my password now help button all right so we got that unlocked so now I'm just going to use VO left arrow to navigate through this window and find the accessibility options click the lock to pre click the lock to pre dim button delete user or add user or group join button network account accessibility options button there we go. Accessibility options. I'm going to view space on this. These accessibility items will automatically be enabled in the login window. 
Turning off a feature disables that feature for all users at the login window but can be turned back on by the accessibility shortcut menu. Start by turning on a feature. Your own configurations will be used for all users at the login window. All right, so from this point, we just need to view left over to the table that gives us all the accessibility options that can come on at logon. Table, no selection. All right, there we are on that table. So I'm going to interact with this. In table, row one of six, voiceover, uncheck, checkbox selected, voiceover, uncheck, checkbox. And there we have voiceover, so view space. Check voiceover, checkbox. All right, got that turned on. Out of table. interacting. I'm going to jump to the end with view end again. Apply button. Hit apply. Accessibility options button. Closing dialog. All right, so I just view space and apply, and I like to remember to lock these windows when I'm done with them. So I'm going to jump to the end again with view end. Help button. View left. Click arrow. the lock to prevent further changes button. And I'm going to view space on this to lock this window again. Help button. All right, so there you have it. That's how you can add an application to your Mac startup, but you can also add voiceover to come on when you are on the logon screen as well that's it for this tutorial thank you so much for checking this out if you'd like to support the channel you can do so by making a donation at paypal.me slash logic.band link in the description below you can also get some one-on-one -on -one training if you want to dive deep in any of these topics surrounding logic or if you're new to mac and want to get up to speed with voiceover you can visit logic.band slash training for some one-on-one -on -one tutoring and once again, there is a link to that in the description below. Also, don't forget to check the description below for a link to relevant tutorials here on YouTube and or to the blog on logic.band that has some supplemental information for this tutorial. Hope you found that useful and helpful. Please feel free to like and subscribe and share this with someone you know who's new to Logic and VoiceOver. As always, everyone, until next time, happy recording.